I'm going to attempt to strain this peach vinegar that I made in July kind of by myself. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go and videotape at the same time. Um, I did take the mother off of the top and I put it in that bucket. I just set it aside and there's some pieces in this one that you can see. You can keep them. Um, I have so many buckets of vinegar sitting around. There's two back there. There's one, this one, this one. And the cabinet sitting beside me is full. So, um, I really don't need to keep all of it. You just need a little bit for starting your new batches of vinegar. So this could take a while, um, but basically this is all you do. And you take your pulp and you can compost it or feed it to your farm animals. Um, I guess if you lived in town and you had nothing else to do with it, you could pitch it down the drain. Um, and then there are some people that go ahead and make it up into jams and jellies. It's not a particular flavor that I care for um because it tastes like vinegar so um but some people do they make it into their jams and jellies to each their own okay so this strainer is taking all night and my philosophy is if it's going to cost you a ton of money it's not easy to do or um it's going to eat up all of your time, then you might as well just go to the store and purchase it. So anyway, these peaches were free. Um, it took me about five minutes or less to make the vinegar. We had to sit and wait on it. It's been brewing for, oh, three weeks. And so now we're pretty much ready to strain it out. And um, But the straining process is taking long. So I went ahead and got a big colander. I don't know if you can see that here. I got a big colander. I set it down in my bucket. I'm going to line it with a tea towel and um, see if that process goes any faster. So, because I have a five gallon bucket to do. I don't want to spend all night. So this is thick enough. I'm literally using my strainer here and I'm just moving it over to the bucket and pouring it in. And another reason why to do this with a tea towel is um, you can, after this drips for a while, you can gather up all the sides and squeeze